you tell us a bit about your character? Uh, I play Amun in Breaking Down Part 2. So, um, so this one I get to just be an audience member and uh, enjoy the show. Um, which coven is your... Uh, he's the head of the Egyptian coven. Can you tell us a little about your costume? Anything you could say about that? Not, I don't think I'm allowed to talk about my costume. Uh-uh. uh, uh, uh. Okay, um, cool. I can tell you that much, yeah. How did you get into acting? How long have you been acting? Um, I started doing it when I was a kid, really. It was always just something I wanted to do, and, and, um, and now it's like actually happening you know how does that feel to like finally get there when you it feels really good it feels you know I, I hope everybody gets to experience this feeling how did you get into acting oh I did it when I was a kid and then I got out of it for a little bit because it didn't seem like a very um, realistic life dream but you know you hit a certain point in life where it's just like you have to go for it if you want something you know and so I did and it's working out well so far <laughs> So, do you have any other projects in the works besides Breaking Dawn? There's a couple things that I'm not actually allowed to talk about, but uh, there's some fun stuff coming up, so we got. And then, of course, I'll be back here next year for part two. So, so uh, can you tell us a bit about your character, Peter? Peter is well. He's a nomad, you know. So he roams around. He's actually he's Jasper's best friend, and he was turned by the same vampire that we saw in Eclipse. You know, we saw Maria in Eclipse. And um, she turned Jasper, and she also turned Peter, and so Jasper and Peter were best friends. And now, when in part two, when the Cullens get in trouble with the Volturi, you know, Jasper and Alice call on Peter and Charlotte to come and kind of help out a little bit. Yeah. What are you most excited to see in the movie? Have you've already seen the movie before? I know. Yeah, you have. Uh, part one or part two? Part two. Like which scene from the book? So you're not spoiling anything. Well. I've seen bits and pieces. I'm, I'm excited to see how it comes together because there's a lot of characters and so it's going to be interesting to see how they fit everybody in. And I think, I think the fans are really going to like some of the characters, how Bill kind of realized some of the characters. They're a lot of fun. Awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about your character in part two. I play the role of Senna. I am from the Amazonian coven and it's just amazing. It's amazing to be yes. here, and the Amazonians kick butt and take name, and it's just a blessing. So, who are you most excited to see? When you heard that you got the role in Breaking Dawn Part 2, who are you most excited to see or work with on set? No, the whole ensemble. I mean, everyone from Kristen to um, Edwin to Taylor, all of them, it's just, it's just, I don't know. <laughs> what can I say? It's just a blessing. So, what was your favorite scene of film in Breaking Dawn? Oh my gosh, all the scenes I was in. No, I'm just playing. I don't, you know, it's funny, I haven't seen any of the movies yet. So, it's almost like, as excited as you guys are, I'm excited, but ten times over. What is your toilet like? Alrighty, so do you have any other projects going on besides Breaking Dawn? Yes, I'm in 50 Cents, Things Fall Apart. I'm in um, this a, a movie called LUV that's coming out with Common and Danny Glover. I shot a movie called Pardon and Battle America with Chris Stokes. So literally, I just basically bounce from movie. That's really cool. Well, good luck and thank you so much. Amanda. I play Tia and uh, she's a part of the Egyptian coven and she goes out to help the Cullens. Um, I, I was watching an interview with you earlier and you mentioned a part where um, all the cast and crew went up to like a mountain for a little while. Can you tell us a little about that? Oh yeah, so we were, what were we doing? We, we'd gotten together in the hotel restaurant. It was late at night and something came up with the idea, let's go, let's go up the mountains and we're like, that sounds awesome. So we went up in the mountains in the back of the hotel and just, it was so cool because we had lights and holding hands and we had a really good time. But we realized we were kind of stranded and got wet and headed back and it was, it was fun. That sounds awesome. So what scene are you most excited to see in part one? I'm just, I'm really excited to see the movie. I don't know, I mean, I, I can't wait to see the whole thing because I think, the thing is, about these movies, it's not just us actors that are involved, it's an incredible crew with really talented people, so I can't wait to see what they do with it visually. Could you tell us a little bit about your character? Yes, I play Bianca, the secretary to the Voltari. She uh, delivers uh, important items to the scary Voltari vampires. Actually, I've seen the movie and I see at the very end, you're right up after the credits. And so what was it like working with Michael Sheen and all the Volturi actors? Michael Sheen is an amazing actor, as I'm sure you know, and uh, very professional and very kind. So it was just 
easy and a blast for me. And Charlie Bewley and Daniel Cudmore are just hilarious, and they make things really fun and lively, so it was a great experience. So if you could see any other book become a movie, what would it be? Um, Once is Not Enough. Uh, by Suzanne, I can't remember her last name. It was made into a film in the 70s, and uh, but I think it could be redone. It's a very beautiful drama and uh, has a, an amazing uh, young female character I'd love to play. Yeah. And lastly, how did you get into acting and how do you feel being here now? Well, I, I originally did musical theater and uh, then started doing uh, film after I realized I was a singer and I realized I liked the acting side. So about four years ago, I started doing film. And just to be a part of this franchise uh, and this whole the Twilight series is just an awesome accomplishment. I feel very blessed. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>